Okay, welcome back to tutorial 3.0. In this uh, tutorial, we're at 3.2. We're going to create a new Visio stencil set VSS file. So we're back here in Visio, just as we'd left it. Nothing's going on here. We all we did was save a blank diagram. But let's say we need to customize a stencil set just for our uses. I mean, that's the whole point of what we're doing here. So we go into the file menu and you go down to shapes just like we did before and you can see they're all listed here as we saw but down here at the bottom is new stencil so we select that for US units and what I want you to notice here is that the stencil shows up as stencil 2 that's just a default name that Visio puts in for you but notice this red asterisk on top of the diagram or or a page icon. This tells us that we are in edit mode. If you right mouse click, you can see edit stencil here. It's grayed out. So let's save this. Now I want you to note that it saves this in the My Documents folder, My Shapes directory. That's where all of your uh, stencils that you create, your Visio stencil sets, will be saved. So I'm going to call this auto inventory just like we did the uh, diagram and notice the file extension is .vss okay we've done so you see now it says auto inventory for the title of our stencil right mouse click we can go in and out of out of edit mode you see what I'm doing here by right, right mouse clicking it's like a toggle selecting or deselecting edit stencil you can see that it has it goes into edit mode. Now we've already saved the stencil. We don't have to do anything more at this point uh, because it has been saved. And to show you, I'm just going to minimize Visio. If I go to My Documents and I go into My Shapes folder as we talked, there it is. It's what we just saved today. In the next um, uh, video, we'll look at creating a master shape in Visio.